How to fit a door handle. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to fit a door handle and we'll be using a mock up set to show you how to do this as clearly as possible. Step 1 You will need a pair of door handles, a latch, a latch plate, some suitable screws, a handle spindle, a tape measure, a pencil, a battery drill kit complete with drill bits, most importantly, wood cutting or flat drill bits, masking tape, a medium chisel, a hammer, safety goggles, and a dustbin and brush in case of mess. Step 2. Choosing a door handle. Door handles and knobs come in a range of sizes and shapes. They all do the same job and are fitted in the same way. Choose one that complements your decorating scheme. Handy hint. When you buy your door handles, check to see whether they come with a latch. This is often sold separately. Step 3. Positioning the latch. You will need to fit the latch first. The latch is usually set into the middle of the side of the door. Obviously, the height of the latch determines the height of the door handle. The height should match that of all the other door handles in your home. This is usually about a metre, that's just over 39 inches, up to the bottom of the latch plate. We've chosen to position ours 1 metre, 39 inches, up. So we're now measuring that distance up on the edge of the door and marking it with a pencil. Then, mark the middle of the door so that the two lines make a cross. Centre the latch on the cross that you have just marked. Hold it in place and draw around it with a pencil. Step 4. Choose the first drill bit. This bit will cut the hole that the latch fits into. Choose a flat wood cutting bit that is slightly bigger than your latch so that there is enough room to fill the latch in the hole. Be careful that it's not too big as drilling too big a hole could ruin your door. Now fix the bit into the drill. Step 5. Measure the depth of the latch. Hold the latch against the drill bit. Use the masking tape to mark the depth of the latch on the bit. Step 6. Drilling the latch hole. Before you begin, remember drill safety. Put on your goggles. Make sure all loose items of clothing, jewellery and hair are tucked away. Clear the area of any potential hazards and find a steady position. You may want to wedge the door open to help steady your drilling. Drill the hole into the side of the door to the depth that you marked earlier with the masking tape. Keep the drill level and straight. Apply a firm, even pressure as you work. Warning. Make absolutely sure that the drill bit does not stray from the centre of the door. There is little room for error. When you have finished, blow out any loose wood chippings. Step 7. Scrape out the debris. Use the chisel to scrape out any remaining debris. Step 8. Mark the position of the latch. Insert the latch. Make sure that it's vertically level and use a pencil to mark around its position. Step 9. Chisel a recess for the latch. Before you pick up your chisel, remember your chisel safety. Make sure that you are wearing safety goggles. Clear the area of any potential hazards. Find a steady position. And remember to watch your fingers when you do start chiselling. Begin by making a series of cuts on the edges of your pencil outline. Like this. Now, you need to chisel out the rest of the recess. Be careful, because if you chisel out too large a recess, it will be difficult to correct. Keep checking the fit to see if the latch plate lies flush with the door. Step 10. Mark the handle spindle. Hold the latch in position, but on the outside of the door. Put your pencil through the hole and make a mark. This is where the handle spindle will go. Make sure you mark this on both sides of the door. 
Step 11. Choose a second drill bit. Choose another drill bit to drill the hole for the handle spindle. It should be wide enough to give the handle spindle clearance. So, choose a bit that is about 2mm, that's 1 16th of an inch, wider than the spindle. Carefully attach it to your drill. Step 12. Drilling for the handle. Remember your drill safety. Using the marks you made, drill into both sides of the door right into the latch hole, like this. When the drill bit begins to emerge through the other side of the door, start drilling from that side. This will prevent the wood from splitting. We've kept the door wedged open so that our demonstration is as clear as possible. However, when drilling into the door, you will find it steadier if the door is shut. When you have finished drilling, clear out any debris by blowing into the hole. Step 13. Test the handle spindle. Slide the latch back into the door. Put the handle spindle into its hole. Give it a twirl to make sure it turns freely. If it doesn't, take it and the latch out and adjust the hole with the drill. Step 14. Drill the latch into place. Before you begin, remember your drill safety. Now drill each screw into place to secure the latch into position. Step 15. Fix on the handles. Place a handle onto the spindle. Remember your drill safety. Use one hand to hold the handle in place and with the other, carefully drill in the screws. Give the handle a quick test and then repeat the process on the other side. Step 16. Mark the latch plate. The latch plate is the piece of metal that slots into the door frame. Close the door so that the latch touches the frame. Mark its position lightly with a pencil. This gives you the height of the latch on the door frame and therefore the height at which the latch plate should be fitted. To find the horizontal position of the latch plate, measure the distance between the edge of the latch and the edge of the door. Transfer this measurement to the door frame and mark with a pencil at the height you marked. Draw in and around the latch plate. Step 17. Cut a recess in the frame. Remember your chisel safety. Following your marks, use your chisel to begin cutting a hole for the latch. First, cut around your pencil outline. Then, chisel out the recess. When you have done this, begin chiseling a shallow recess for the latch plate so that it fits flush with the door frame. Be careful not to chisel too deep a recess, as this will be hard to undo. Keep testing the plate until it fits snugly. Step 18. Drill into position. Remember your drill safety. Hold the plate up to the door and carefully drill the screws into position, fixing the latch plate onto the frame. Step 19. Test. Give your new door handle a test. Done.